Watching their son Elliot tackle their backyard swing set is something the Perrys thought they might never see. When Elliot was born almost four months early, the Bedford couple was told that he may never see, talk, or walk. Elliot was like the size of a water bottle. At just one pound, nine ounces, Elliot was a micro preemie. Whenever I look at those photos, I'm like, no, that, that can't be me, that, that couldn't. We first met the Perrys in 2011 in the intensive care nursery at the Children's Hospital at Dartmouth or Chad, where they shared one of their toughest days when Elliot's lungs collapsed not once, but twice. Doctors and nurses, who was time for them to go home, sat with us. And stayed with us until he was stable and we had an 18% chance of survival. So the odds were against us from the start, and he defied him. His strength when he was born, I mean, he was a fighter to survive and to thrive and to be here today. You are really strong. Two, three, four, five, six. Through the years, Chad has been there for Elliot every step of the way. Elliot is pushing probably about 50 surgeries and procedures to date. We probably average about 7 to 14 days a year that he'll actually be inpatient in the hospital. Forever grateful for the care Elliot has received, the Perrys continue to give back. At four years old, he went to Washington, D.C. and testified before Congress. As a Chad ambassador, Elliot is a familiar face at the hospital's charity events. He's helped kick off the Chad Hero Half Marathon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Team Elliot has been a top fundraiser for the Battle of the Badges hockey game. Elliot has worked the Dunkin' drive through for iced coffee day to benefit Chad. We're pretty much like glorified Uber drivers. <laughs> he even threw out the first pitch on behalf of Chad Kids at a Red Sox game. Any dad wants to play catch with their, with their son, but any dad to watch their kid take the mound at Fenway, that's awesome. Elliot has raised more than $100,000 for Chad over his nine years and is now taking on a new mission. He wants to build a brand new playground at Chad in Lebanon and another one at Chad in Manchester. Needles and stuff for kids. Surgeries could be possibly traumatizing. They could be, they are very scary and what's what kids love. I've never met a kid who doesn't love this. Playgrounds. Playground. You know, when Elliot was in the hospital, we used to walk around Dartmouth. And um, we would go outside, and I wish there was a place where, you know, there was that. Um, but there will be. It's going to be made for every child, every circumstance, so every child can enjoy a playground. The Perrys call their playground fundraising campaign the 121 Club. For the 121 days Elliot spent at Chad after he was born. The goal? To raise $121,000. With the families who spend so much time here at our facilities, the more we can make it a welcoming place for them and their families, the better off everyone will be. And to be able to give kids breaks from a long day or to transition from something that was tough to being able to play in the playground and allowing them to leave with that positive experience of playfulness and having fun uh, will make a huge difference. Elliot's first big playground donation came thanks to a chance meeting. Hello, Representative Mitchell. Hey, Elliot. How are you, buddy? While at a conference in Nashville, Elliot's dad met Joe Mitchell. Turns out Joe's parents own a business out in Iowa that makes leg braces for children. And he's like, no way. He's like, that's the brace that Elliot wore, you know. Elliot was born with club feet, and the braces made by the Mitchells were a godsend. My child walks today because of these braces. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, how are you? When the Mitchells heard about Elliot's plan, they stepped up once again. They said, oh, we're going to make a small donation, $12,100. They funded 10% of the project. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Elliot. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for thinking unselfishly about 
What can you do to help other kids? Pull it up, put the crank there, and push. Elliot's big design idea? A zip line that's wheelchair accessible. We've already heard something about a zip line. How long is a zip line? Because I remember I wanted to come go on that. What we'll do is we'll, we'll slide the wheelchair onto the platform, walk it in, and have, and have it go down. That's great. Hey, if you weren't so young, I'd hire you to come work for me. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot hopes the playgrounds will brighten the day for children facing all kinds of health challenges. Our goal is to make it for everybody. Everybody. Little kids can make a huge difference. His parents say they'll never stop giving back to Chad. Well, I mean, it gave us the greatest title that anybody could ever have, and that's a parent.